What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today, I have for you guys another exciting unboxing, and this one I am really excited about. Before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. So what do I have for you guys today? So this guy is something that I picked up in my Amazon travels because it was a deal <clears throat> that I could not pass up. Yes, look at that. And that is a beautiful sight right there. A white Kubi box. And what that means is when you get the white box instead of the black box, that means you're getting something a little bit more on the premium end. You are getting the premium end uh, of Kubi knives. So we have a sleeve, nice packaging. Yes, it's been a while since I've gotten a more premium Kubi. So what do we have here? And I'm going to explain why uh, this is really exciting comes with a nice uh, microfiber cloth and the paperwork. So this knife, guys, in my travels on Amazon, I came across this knife and uh, perfectly centered. So this bad boy is coming in right around 100 bucks right now on sale for about 100 110 bucks and I just I couldn't pass it up. I have a bunch of premium Kubis and uh, a lot of times throughout the year if you're diligent and you can wait uh, you can uh, you know pick up various Kubi knives you know on Amazon or other retailers or off Kubi directly for a very discounted price you know something that's maybe 180. Uh, 200 bucks sometimes can go down to 110, 120, and this is a case where this knife is like 110 right now. I will have it linked down below. It is still at the time of filming this at that price. So this is the Kubi Barracuda or the KU 299, and it's a titanium front flipper but it's an inset liner lock guys which was really oh man right out of the box oh snappy so there's earlier versions of this that are a little different than this guy is here it kind of went through a redesign phase they changed a few things on this knife and it's not a real big knife but it's not really small either. I can still get a nice full purchase on this thing. The blade is absolutely beautiful. Now, I didn't see the other version. Uh, I believe there's at least two versions of the more premium Barracuda here. We're getting S30V. So <clears throat> S30V and a titanium inset liner lock for right around 100 bucks, guys. <clears throat> you can count me in on that all day long, especially with Kubi's build quality. Uh, this thing is going to be very hard to beat. And like I said, there's been times where the Atlas uh, in S35 and titanium has been around 100 bucks. Uh, the Vagrant in titanium, the Drake in titanium. Sometimes throughout the year, guys, you know, if you really hone in on something that you want in the premium line of Kubis, uh, you can catch it on sale. And right now, this is on sale, and I'd be willing to venture a guess that they have some other premium ones on sale right now. But uh, this is one that I didn't have in the premium line of Kubis, and for 100 bucks for the materials and this type of build... You can count me in on that all day long. Just nice and clean looking. Very, very gentlemanly. So I just wanted to double check. And right now it's coming in at 93 bucks. So it's not actually as high as I even thought that it was. So for the material choices, guys, 
and the build that you're getting that is an outstanding deal if this is something that is in your wheelhouse so we have a nice milled clip there yep nice milled titanium clip and it's got a nice aesthetic to it it's going to carry like your standard milled clips a little bit lower but uh, not too much poking out there you'll be able to Get this in and out of pocket very easily. A nice place to put your thumb and pull this guy out. Has a nice bit of retention on it. The jimping is done very nicely here on that front flipper. And the detent is tuned very, very nicely. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, nice clicky detent. Nice and snappy. And it's actually a little bit bigger than you might kind of think. So we're getting about three and a quarter inches of cutting edge and about the same to here, about three and a half to there. And then overall, we're looking at maybe just shy of seven and a half. It's close. It's just peaking there at seven and a half. So it's not, it looks smaller in the photos and even maybe here on video than it really is. Uh, it's nice. It's not going to be, you know, this is more of kind of a gent style carry, nice and clean and streamlined. I, I'm, uh, I'm a huge fan of Kubi. I'll have this uh, link down below through their website if, if I can, and it's available through their website. Now, if the sale's not going on on their website as well, then uh, I, I won't link it down below. But I always have Kubi's uh, links in the description. But through the Amazon website for 90 bucks, guys, uh, that's a very, very fine price tag for what you're getting here. I don't know why I was thinking 110 or 100, uh, but this is a night that I've looked at many, many times, but it retails for, I, f I forget, we can look really quick. I think it typically retails for... Oh, uh, I guess I won't be able to see what it actually retails for, but they also are offering, I think they're offering some sort of discount on top of that price. So if you can go pick this up right now for just say around a hundred bucks, uh, that is an incredible deal for this guy. Let's see what kind of edge they put on this guy. So we have a nice little piece of magazine paper here. Uh, and I don't know if Kubi's trying to get rid of some old stock. I mean, I know they're trying to get rid of some of their D2 stock. They're having a massive sale on their D2 line, which I have that linked in the description with my coupon code for that big sale that they're running. All their D2 knives that are currently left, that means the Royal, the Tidious, uh, there's like several dozen knives, guys. Now, some of them might be out of stock. I think they're running that sale until they are all gone. So uh, if you think you missed out on something because the sale ended, uh, you didn't. Now, if the knife is gone and out of stock, then you you know it's gone. But if they're still in stock, they are on sale and then you can use that promo code which takes it down even further. Uh, some knives are as low as the low 20s and then some are in like the low to mid 30s which for D2 and G10 uh, from Kubi, that's a, a pretty slamming deal. Just for kicks, why don't we see how it does up against some cardboard. Uh, this has a a nice edge on it guys and it's such a thin blade it's it's a full flat grind and it comes down nice and thin behind the edge there but because it is a full flat uh it's going to be a little bit tougher you know than something like you know hollow grinds are nice for certain things and then flat grinds are nice for certain things it all just kind of depends on uh what you're doing and 
you know, what your goal is for that knife. But this is going to make an awesome EDC knife, a nice little gent knife, and even a, you know, utility type user as well. If you're looking for kind of that more premium utility style knife, uh, because you'll be able to get right up behind that edge, get right up on that tip for them more fine detail type tasks. And then because there's nothing getting in your way here, you'll be able to get right up behind the edge there for more controlled detail type cuts. Uh, does that have a little bit of belly to it? Just a slight bit. Uh, this is definitely more Warren Cliff-esque than uh, it is a sheep's foot. Even with that tiny, tiny bit of belly there, there's just a hint of belly there. And I, I would say modified Warren Cliff. And that jimping is nice. If they would have ran that out here a little bit further, man, would this be just, it's still good. And you have a nice place to land there with the thumb. So it's not a huge deal that they didn't run the jimping there. But uh, that would have just been an extra, extra nice touch. Now in the, the choked up or the choked back grip or the standard grip, your thumb's going to land right there on the end of the jimping. So that is, you know, it still works pretty good. But when you're up far, you know, it wouldn't be bad to have some extra there, but no, no big deal. And then we have a nice titanium backspacer there, which I didn't even realize it had. So that's going to add to the ergonomics there. And then you have a little hidden lanyard spot. Yeah, for the price tag of this knife, that is going to be a hard one to beat. And they chamfer and they jimp that liner. Uh, so, you, you know, you won't be able to carry this lefty, uh, but even a lefty, you know, since it's not an exposed frame lock, if you like front flippers and you are a lefty and uh, you like titanium, but you're always dealing with exposed frame locks and you like front flippers, those are kind of hard to, you know, deal with sometimes if you are a lefty. Uh, maybe not so much on front flippers, but this the liner lock takes that completely out of the equation for everyone. Uh, whether you're a righty or a lefty, now you don't have to worry about it, which that was the ultimate selling point. The price tag was great. The materials were great. And that was basically enough to get me to say, okay, I'm going to, you know, think about pulling the trigger on this guy. And then I realized that it was an inset liner lock. And I was like, okay, that's, that's a done deal. Now, I don't know if that's titanium in there. I'm going to guess that it's not. Yeah, that's going to be steel, which is completely fine uh, with me. No, that that's really irrelevant other than to know, okay, this is what it is. But, you know, whether it's titanium or steel, uh, as far as the liner goes, that's really irrelevant to me, at least anyway. Uh, I guess I would probably prefer it to be steel. Uh, I, I, I don't know. The steel makes me just feel a little better. Uh, man, this is nice and clean. We have some internal milling done in there for weight relief even. Not a heavy knife at all. I think this is their high polish sandblast finish. And here's a case where that goes really good with the knife. Doesn't bother me whatsoever. Uh, I really do wish Kubi would start using more satin finishes and uh, they are using them. It's just they're not using them a ton, right? Uh, I'd like to just see more finishes from Kubi, you know, whether it's PVD, DLC, black wash, stone wash, satins, you know, I'd like to see a, just a little bit more variety. Typically, they stick with like a black PVD and then they do a high polish sandblast. I'd like just a, a few more options, but 
you know, Kubi does a great job on their lines and knives, whether we're talking their very affordable line in the D2 line, all the way up to their more premium line, you know, that cost, you know, 150 to 200. Uh, they do a, a fantastic job. And, you know, and they do it under one name, which is something I, I really like as well. They don't need to create two and three different names to just run the, you know, the same knives under. I don't get why certain companies do that. Just run everything under the same name and have just different, you know, categories of knives. Uh, I, I, I don't know. But that's a tangent for another day. But you all have to let me know down in the comments what you think of this little guy, especially at that price point. Uh, I, I am a hundred percent happy that I picked this thing up at that price point. I'm gonna try to get this video out there uh, to you guys quicker than when this would normally land. Uh, that way, if someone is interested in it. Uh, you can go out and get it for a good price. Uh, I'll try to get this up within the next day or two uh, from the time of filming this and hope that the uh, sale is still going on. Let me know what you think, guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We will do a full overview of this guy and a review on down the line. So be on the lookout for that. For anything else, let me know down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Otherwise, guys, go watch another video, and I will catch you on the next one.